Okay, guys, let's get started. So in the last session, we have imported ADMX template for third party applications like Firefox and Zoom. This is the location in registry. Okay, so we also deployed a uh, bit locker and laps policy yesterday. We would like to see the status of those policies. <coughs> so. BitLocker encryption policy and it says uh, successfully applied right on one machine succeeded. Now let's go to the device. We would like to check whether the device is really encrypted or not. So on the device you need to go to um, this PC section. Click on this PC at the left hand side. You see the lock icon. OK, on C drive, there is a lock icon. Lock icon means it's encrypted already. OK, now if you would like to see whether it is properly encrypted or not, open command prompt. One minute. OK, so you need to open a command prompt and then type in manage hyphen BDE. You need to type in. Manage hyphen BDE space no without any space manage hyphen bde space hyphen status enter that's going to show you whether it is 100 percent encrypted or not okay you see it's fully encrypted and 100% percent percentage encrypted 100%. Now we would like to see whether the password is saved in Azure Active Directory or not. So let's go to. The Intune portal. And go to the devices at the left hand side. Hmm. Windows. OK, so you have two devices. OK, so click on the device where we applied BitLocker. And then go to recovery keys at the left hand side. And in recovery keys, you have show recovery key. So this is your 48 digit long BitLocker key. That is. Needed. When uh, it will ask BitLocker key uh, when you boot up the machine. So in case if it asks the BitLocker key. Uh, the user will call help desk and the help desk guys will have to give this BitLocker. Encryption key to decrypt the device uh, to unlock the device. Clear. So this is how we silently encrypt the device. Second thing. Local admin password yesterday we deployed lapse policy as well. So let's click on the local admin password at the left hand side. We would like to see whether local admin password is also showing up or not. So it, that is not done. Did you power off the machine yesterday? No, After I... some time. No, not restarted. Hmm. You did not power off the machine? No. OK, let's go to the lapse policy status. Let's go to endpoint protection at the left hand side. Endpoint protection at the left hand side. Click 
click on endpoint protection first okay you is saying okay endpoint security endpoint security sorry endpoint security not protection and then inside that you have account protection Click on labs. So the policy applied successfully. Okay. Now the password of that local admin account will also be saved here on uh, Azure Active Directory. So you'll have to wait for some more time and then we can take a look on this one. Clear? Sai, you share your screen. Okay, let me take control. So we have applied lapse policy and that is successfully applied on one of the machines. Let, let's take a look. Uh, so devices and then windows. Inside windows will go to um, local admin password so that is still not showing up let me take a look on the device side now what is the status of local admin account right click on this and computer management and then local user or groups user administrator account is already enabled yes it's enabled fine so we'll have to wait for some more time it takes time guys so we will come back and take a look on this later on now let me just synchronize the policy Okay, so that's going to take some some more time. Okay, guys, let me go back to Intune portal. Now in Intune portal, we will go to devices, windows, and we have seen the configuration yesterday, you know, ADMX template. So that is already done. Now compliance, we have already seen this one, compliance. Now scripts and remediation. We have not seen this one, scripts and remediation, okay? Now you can deploy PowerShell script on windows devices okay suppose if you have to remediate devices then the script is gonna help you to do the remediation so right now this is not allowed because you know you cannot create because you have to have a license for this so use of recommendation remediations require windows license verification to be enabled so we need to enable the license verification Okay, so let's click on this learn more about prerequisite. Okay, so Windows license verification. So use Windows license verification category to enable use of Intune features in your tenant that requires Windows E3 or equivalent license. Okay, we already have 
Microsoft E3 license. So we will be able to do it. So to confirm you own the required license for these features, set I confirm that my tenant owns one of these license and we have to turn it on. Let's go back. Okay, so we'll have to go to the tenant administration. Inside tenant administration, we have to come to um, Enabled. Okay. Well, Windows update. Yes, license verification. So, um, you know, when you go to Windows Update and Windows 10 and later feature update, you have this option to enable the uh, license verification. So, you see, we have this license already. So, we need to turn this on. And I'm going to turn this on as well. Um, Windows data, some in tune features, including Windows update reports require sharing Windows diagnostic data. So I'm going to enable that one as well. OK, so we have to turn them on. And then save. So how do you turn it on? You go to the reports here. I'll show you again. You go to reports, right? And then you go to Windows update and then you go to reports. And then inside Windows report, we have Windows feature update report, right? And then there was a link here on the top, which I clicked on. Uh, so that gave you the option to enable Windows feature update. I mean, Windows license verification. OK, now I'll go back to. Devices. Windows. Scripts and remediation. Now you will be able to create a remediation script. You see previously it was disabled, but now it is enabled. OK, so we can deploy some PowerShell script here. So what kind of remediation you can? Uh, you can upload here what kind of uh, remediation script. So suppose you have 10,000 machines. Now out of those 10,000 machines, we would like to deploy a discovery script that is going to check the space of those devices. You know how much space is there on those devices. Now if the space is OK, Let's say a space is greater than 10 gigabyte free space. Then it's OK. Otherwise, it is going to do the remediation, the cleanup task on that device. OK, let's say uh, out of 10,000, we have 500 machines which need cleanup. So we can 
create the remediation script here so that out of 10,000 machines, um, 500 machines will get, uh, you know, the cleanup task will happen on those 500 machines. Okay. Now I'm going to click on create. And here we will type in. Um, discovery and remediation script remediation script discovery and remediation scripts okay let's go next now we have create custom script package from scripts you have written by default scripts you will run on assigned devices every day every day it is going to run on those devices so discovery script you have to give it here then remediation script you have to give it here on the second one okay so i'm going to give you the discovery and remediation script wait a minute so discovery remediation I found it. Let me send that to you on the WhatsApp group. Plus, I will send it to you here as well in the chat window. Okay, guys. So we have, I sent it to you on the chat window and WhatsApp group both. So we have remediation and discovery. Okay. So this is the discovery and remediation script. Let me copy and put it on the notepad. Okay. So the first one is the discovery script okay now what does it say it says if the c drive you know get volume drive c if the c drive remaining space is greater than 100 gigabyte is greater than 100 gigabyte then write host it is going to give us an output called machine is compliant but in case if the drive is less than 100 gigabyte free space then it is going to give an uh, give us an output as machine is non compliant okay now in case if the machine is non compliant it's going to do some cleanup task so where you can add more locations so it is going to delete the files from temp it is going to delete the files from software distribution download it will delete the file from prefetch it will delete the file from CCM cache. So these are the locations where it is going to delete files. Okay, you can add more locations here. So let's see whether the machine is compliant or non compliant. So I'll copy the discovery script. This is our discovery script. So copy. Okay, now let me run this on virtual machine. PowerShell. So PowerShell ICE. Sorry, not this PowerShell. PowerShell ICE. Now let me paste the script. Okay. So save this on the desktop.
and run it's gonna let us know whether the machine is compliant or non-compliant okay so it will find out the space if the free space is less than 100 gigabyte then it will mark the device as non-compliant as you see the output it gives the output as machine is non-compliant why non-compliant because this machine c drive if you come to this pc here c drive is having only 26.3 gigabyte free okay now in case if i give 20 gigabyte okay instead of 100 i give 20 gigabyte and run again it's gonna say machine is compliant you see see the difference first it said machine is non-compliant now it says machine is compliant because of the instead of 100 i give 20 now so when the machine is compliant it's not going to do anything but in case if the machine is non-compliant it will do the remediation so what all remediation it is going to perform it will delete files from those locations okay so let's go back to um, notepad so i will have to put it in two different files okay let me delete this line discovery okay i'll keep only this and let me take this remediation let me delete remediation as well and let's cut this from here cut and i'll put it on a different tab so there are two files now this is not a right location because we don't have ccm cache okay so let me delete this now we have only these three folders for example so we would like to delete files from these folders so we have discovery in this uh, file and remediation in the other one so let me save it on the desktop desktop and this is going to be uh, inside intune um sai you there shall i save it or are you can you hear me kashif can you hear me yeah i can hear you give me control please okay so i you will have to share the screen again wait a minute okay so the name uh let's put it in intune folder and a custom script okay inside custom script let's choose all files oh we already have okay so i'm gonna put it outside so in intune folder discovery discovery script dot ps1 okay so because it's a powershell script so p dot ps1 is the extension now the second one is the remediation so file save as 
and uh, we will choose all files here and we will type remediation script dot ps1 save so make sure you save it in dot ps1 extension so i saved the discovery and remediation both okay now let's add them into this so we have upper section detection or discovery one and the same thing and the remediation so let me add one by one so on the desktop we have intune folder and we have discovery script so we added the discovery script right <clears throat> then the remediation one remediation script so we have given the remediation both of them are now added discovery and remediation so in case if the machine does not have more than 100 gb free space it is going to mark the device as non compliant and it will start remediating you know it will start deleting these uh, locations so run this script using logged on user no no and no I'll leave that as it is next next now here we will apply this to a specific group um let's click on select a group to include and it's gonna be windows 10 device group okay so we have added the remediation script this one discovery and remediation active it's going to give us um, how many machines without any issue with issue issue fixed reoccurred total remediated right that's going to give us some details about it are you guys clear everyone yes sir. Hmm? yes sir. now the second one is platform script so platform script is general powershell script you can deploy from here for example you have to create multiple folders okay so uh, you add so create um folders powershell script and you choose next now here you need to upload the script so let's me open powershell here on your laptop powershell ice always use powershell ice guys Okay, so for example, in case if you have to create folder, right? What do you do? You type in new hyphen item. Okay, then you choose the name of that item. What would you like to call it? For example, I would like to call it as Intune 1. Okay, and the path, where would you like to save that? Where would you like to create that new item? So, for example, I would like to create it in C Windows slash temp folder. Okay. And will it be a file or a directory? So, item type is going to be directory. Okay. Suppose I would like to create another folder in C drive, and that's going to be Intune 2. Let me put Intune 1 here.
Okay, so Intune 1, it will get created in C drive. Intune 2, it will get, get created in C drive uh, Windows temp folder. Okay, let me just go ahead and run this. Let's see what happens. Okay, so it has created two folders. I'll show you where it has created those folders. So in C drive, you see it has created this folder called Intune 1, right? When you go to C drive Windows temp folder, you will see Intune 2 there. You see Intune 2. So this is how you create folders. Is that clear, everyone? Hmm? Yes, Kash. Yes, Kash. Similarly, in case if you have to remove the folder, right? So, what will you type in order to remove folder? You type in remove hyphen item. And uh, you have to give the path. Path is going to be C drive colon and the path is in tune one, right? And I would like to remove it forcefully. And in case if any files are there in that folder, it should delete them as well, recurse. Okay, so let's say I would like to delete it. So I run this, this folder is gone. Let's verify. You see the Intune 1 folder is gone. We don't have Intune 1 folder. That's gone. Okay. Now suppose in case if you would like to copy something from one location to another location. So what you do? Copy hyphen item and the path. So For example, I would like to copy this dumpstack.log and the destination. Which location? Let's say C Windows. Windows. C Windows temp slash Intune 2 folder, right? I would like to save it in. Intune 2 folder, right? So let me select this and run. The file is dumpstack log. Okay, so dumpstack is denied. That means we cannot copy that one. So we'll try something else. For example, Intune. No, Intune folder is does not have anything. Let me try something else. desktop in tune okay so let's try this one okay so I'm going to copy this discovery script into temporary folder. You see it is done. Let's verify. C drive. Windows. Then temp. Intune. You see discovery script is copied. So these are simple PowerShell script I'm showing you, but you can have any PowerShell script of your choice, which is going to um, perform the steps as for the PowerShell script what you 
we'll have it here. So I'm gonna go with these two folder creation. Okay. So we'll save this on the desktop. Create folder, okay, and save. So we have now saved this. Let's go and upload this script here. So create folder script. This is the one, right? No and no. Make sure you choose no, okay? And then go next. And we'll apply this on Windows 10 device group. So the folder will get created. Are you guys clear so far? Yes, Gosh. Yeah, Gosh. Okay, now I'll show you a complex script which I downloaded from Microsoft website. So let me open a new tab and type in here tinyurl.com slash script clean one tinyurl.com script clean one okay so this is a powershell script i'm gonna download that okay so the file is downloaded remediation.txt now this file is basically going to delete some of the locations, some of the files from multiple locations in C drive. I'll show you what all files it is going to delete. So you see, get child item. So, and it is checking the location C, so C drive windows software distribution. And after checking, it is saying remove item. It's going to delete that location. You know, whatever the folders it will find in this location. Similarly, if you see the second one, software, uh, C windows software distribution download, and it's going to remove item. Then CCM cache. Right, it's going to remove item from there. Then see Windows temp. And remove item, right? Then it's going to delete some location from C users, app data, local temp and. Remove item. OK, then it's going to do the same thing in this one. So there are various locations in this. File. It will delete those files from those locations. So basically, it's a cleanup script which will help you to delete temporary files and junk files which are not needed. It will do some cleanup task in the device. So I'm going to save this. Save as. Desktop. In tune and all file remediation instead of txt ps1 remediation dot ps1 and close it so in case if you have to log in uh, uh, log into uh, 10 or 20 machines or 50 machines and you need to delete files from those locations. It's going to be a tedious job for you. 
So instead of doing it manually, you can do it from the PowerShell script. So that will make your life easier. So simply add and clean up script. Next, upload the script. Clean up a script. I think this is the one, remediation one. Yes. No, no, next. And we would like to apply this on Windows 10 device group. So it's gonna run these two PowerShell script on that device. Okay. The first script is create folder. So it will create folder on C in C drive and C Windows temp and clean up a script. It it's gonna delete extra files from those locations which are given in the script. Okay, is that clear? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now we'll come yeah, to this sure. group policy analytics. What do you mean by group policy analytics? Did anyone work work on group policy? Hmm? I worked on Active Directory, but no. Nobody work, worked on uh, group policy. Now, what do you mean by group policy? I, I did work on some aspect. I touched some work on group policy. Yeah. Okay. So, group policy is nothing but uh, the configuration profile. You see configuration. So we have deployed various group. Either you call it as group policy or configuration profile. Okay. So in in on premises world, we call it as group policies. Okay. And in in tune, we call it as configuration profile. One and the same thing. Okay. Now this one group policy analytics. <clears throat> That comes into the picture when you have on premises. You see, these are what? These are group policies. Basically, we deployed setting catalog, administrative template, device restriction, custom. These are basically group policy itself. But in Intune world, we call it as configurations. Now, when you go to group policy analytics, we have. Um, right now, it's blank. We haven't added any group policies here. Now we this group policy analytics comes into the picture when you have on premises active directory and there are various group policies already running and we, you would like to migrate them into Intune portal. Suppose there are hundreds of policies which are there in your domain controller. OK, and you don't want to create them again in Intune portal. You simply can migrate them from your domain controller into Intune portal. Clear everyone. So. It's going to make your life easier. You don't have to. Create the policy one by one here in uh, Intune portal. Rather, you can migrate them. The existing policy is what you have on on premises domain controller. Okay. Now I will show you on my computer because I have a domain controller. So you guys will not be able to do it because you don't have a domain controller. So I'm going to share my screen with you guys. So let me share. I hope you guys can see the screen, right? The black screen. Yes, because your black screen is there. Okay, so I have a domain controller here. As you see, it is running on my Oracle Virtual Box, and on that domain controller, I have created some group policies. Now, in case I have to migrate them from domain controller into Intune portal, so 
how do I go about it? So this is my domain controller server, guys. Okay. This is my domain controller server. Now, let me delete this. So I need to search group policy here. Group policy. So it's going to show you group policy management in the search result. Let's click on group policy management. Now in here, when I come to uh, under group policy management, I have a domain called makemeitexpert.com. That's my domain. So inside domain, we have make me IT expert and then we have some policies which are applied on this domain level. So MECM is the MECM policy is the group policy. Um, if you click on settings, you will be able to see what all policies are applied in this group policy. So you see some Windows setting is there, security setting is there, administrative template settings are there. So these are the configuration, uh, computer configurations are there. Now, let me go to uh, group policy objects. So we have three policies. The default ones, I'm going to skip them. Now, this is the one which I created, which has, uh, you know, the computer configuration, right? Security settings, uh, Windows settings, and administrative templates. Now, if you would like to see them all, you click on show all, and that's going to show you what all policies are applied. So, inbound policies. So, inbound rule I have applied require authentication. Then, when you go down, you have file and printer sharing, right? Then, you have file and printer sharing again, file and printer sharing, then file and printer sharing. Basically, I have enabled the file and printer sharing. Then Windows management instrumentation enable. I have enabled that one as well. Then MECM ports. What all ports I have enabled? Port 80, 443, So these ports will get enabled. Then we have outbound port. And that is file and printer sharing, right? So inbound and outbound ports. These are some of the settings plus register domain join computers enabled, disable MDM disable, right? Enable MDM enrollment, right? Then require user authentication enabled. So these are the policies which I have enabled and disabled. Now I need to take a backup of this one, right click and then choose backup. So I'll put it on the desktop and then click on backup. Okay, backup succeeded. Let me click on OK. And then this is the backup which I saved it on the desktop. Now, I need to uh, bring it on my laptop. So how do I bring it on my laptop? I have a shared uh, drive between which is shared between host computer and guest computer. So this is my laptop document folder. So let me go to the desktop and right click and copy this group policy with backup file. I copied this backup file and then go to this PC and document inside document. Let me create a folder called GPO backup. And paste it here. OK, GPO backup. Now I need to open Google Chrome and I'll go to the Intune portal. So Intune.microsoft.com Now we have a Windows, I mean devices. Inside devices we have a Windows. Inside Windows we have Group Policy Analytics. Right now, we need to import the. Let me delete them first because I have already imported some of the policies. Let me delete, delete, delete. I think I can delete it from here.
Okay, so now I'm gonna import the file. So let me go ahead and choose import. And then I need to import this one, gpreport.xml file. So let me click on this select file. And it's there under document, the GPO backup, GPO backup. Yeah, this is the one, GPO backup. And inside this folder, I have these files. Now, which one I have to take? I need to take this one, gpreport.xml and click on open. And then click on next, next and create. So whatever the policies which are there in your domain controller, they will get migrated here. You see, it's migrated. I mean, it's not migrated, but we have imported it. So ready to migrate one A43. Total uh, group policy, 143 group policies are there total. No, actually 147. Out of 147, 143 is supported and four not supported. So some of them you cannot deploy. So one of 143 you can deploy out of 147. Now you have 97% uh, supported. Let me click on 97%. Now, the policies which are, you see, these policies can be migrated, you know, these which says yes. Those say, uh, we, the ones which says, uh, the ones which say no, you cannot deploy from group policy. Okay, like disable MDM enrollment, enable automatic. These are domain controller group policy, uh, dedicated policy. You cannot deploy from Intune. So you cannot deploy this one. Similarly, you have eight pages, as you see. Let me go next. All of them can be deployed. Next. All of them can be deployed. Next. 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 And the last page. This one, I cannot deploy the last one as well. The second last one, domain join. Okay. So let me go to the first page. So this is the first page. I need to. Um, I need to choose the box and then choose migrate. Okay. Sorry, let me go back. Okay, so let me go back to this group policy analytics, check the box and then choose migrate. When you migrate, you select all on this page. So I'm going to click on select all on this page. Next, select all. Next, whatever, you know, uh, I'm just clicking on select all. Oh, sorry. Okay, so I have selected. And then next. Next. Now, name of the policy, for example, domain controller group policy. And then you go next. And then next. And then you apply it to a device group. So I'm going to click on add group and then choose uh, Windows 10, Windows 10 device group, okay? <laughs> Windows 10 device group, select and next and deploy. So those, those policies will get deployed on the target group of devices. And you will be seeing this policy in the domain. You see domain controller group policy in the configuration section. You guys understood the concept? Yes, hmm? Kashi. Uh, yes, so this is um, 
this comes into the picture when you are migrating on premises devices to intune portal so when you are migrating the devices you also need to migrate the group policies so you take the backup of all those group policies which you have to migrate and put it here in intune portal and then you can deploy from intune portal itself so the devices will not take the policy from domain controller rather it will take the policy from intune portal can you share your screen sai again So, what about migrating the devices? Sorry, what was the question? What about migrating the devices? What about migrating devices? Yes. Yeah, so you will have to migrate those devices from on premises Active Directory into Intune. So, you will have to migrate the devices as hybrid joint devices. Hybrid means the devices will be there in local on premises active directory plus intune portal together what about the process are we going to try the process process migration the migration process are we going to be able to do that migration process is not part of this course content Because for that, you will have to have a domain controller. OK, give me control, please. So today, we have discussed about. Today is 18th September topics. Point number one. Uh, remediation script. Point number two, platform script. Group policy analytics. So these are the things which we have done in today's session. So the assignment for you to deploy one PowerShell script deploy only one okay create folder or delete folder or copy something okay so you need to deploy one powershell script you can deploy the same powershell script which i showed you okay anything of your choice so let's see the remediation script and remediation so you have to deploy this platform script here so let's see what happened with this. Did it create the folder? It takes time. Not yet. Uh, let me synchronize the policy. OK. So let's uh, leave this machine online, Sai, for like a couple of hours. Uh, sure. The local admin password will also be created. Plus this uh, share uh, this PowerShell script will get executed as well. So hopefully within a couple of hours, everything will get. Um, you know, the policy, this machine will receive all the policies. So tomorrow we will see the status of PowerShell script and the local admin one. OK, clear. You send this to everyone. Yeah, OK. I have to go now. 
we'll meet tomorrow guys okay bye guys bye everyone bye bye